Welcome back viewers. Today, we have an interesting topic to explore. The comparison between two types of pulse oximeters, ear versus finger. Pulse oximeters are widely used devices to measure blood oxygen saturation levels and pulse rate. In this video, we are going to compare the features, advantages and potential considerations of ear and finger pulse oximeters. Let's get started. Let's begin by understanding what an ear pulse oximeter is. An ear pulse oximeter is a compact device designed to clip onto the ear lobe. It measures blood oxygen saturation levels and pulse rate by shining light through the ear lobe and detecting the amount of light absorbed by the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Moving on to the finger pulse oximeters, these devices are commonly used and easily accessible. They work by placing the sensor on the fingertip, emitting light to measure blood oxygen saturation levels and pulse rate based on the absorption of light by the blood. Accuracy is a crucial factor when it comes to pulse oximeters. Both ear and finger pulse oximeters are generally accurate in measuring blood oxygen saturation levels and pulse rate. However, it's important to ensure proper positioning and a stable signal for accurate readings with either type. In terms of ease of use, finger pulse oximeters are often considered more convenient. They are straightforward to use with a simple clip-on design that allows for quick and easy measurements. Ear pulse oximeters may require a bit more adjustments and positioning, but they can still be user-friendly with practice. Comfort and convenience are essential considerations for pulse oximeters. Finger pulse oximeters are generally well tolerated and suitable for most individuals. On the other hand, some users may find ear pulse oximeters slightly less comfortable due to the need for proper positioning and the contact with the ear lobe. Let's discuss the applications and suitability of ear and finger pulse oximeters. Finger pulse oximeters are versatile and suitable for a wide range of individuals, including adults, children, and the elderly. Ear pulse oximeters, although less commonly used, may be prepared in certain situations such as for patients with limited finger mobility or when finger measurements are challenging. Portability and size are important factors, especially for on-the-go use. Finger pulse oximeters are typically smaller and more compact, making them highly portable and easy to carry in a pocket or bag. Ear pulse oximeters may be slightly larger due to the ear lobe clip design, but are still relatively portable. Before concluding, let's discuss a few considerations when choosing between ear and finger pulse oximeters. Finger pulse oximeters are widely available, cost-effective, and suitable for most individuals. Ear pulse oximeters, although less common, may provide a viable alternative for specific situations. It's important to choose a pulse oximeter that meets your specific needs and consult with a healthcare professional if necessary. Both ear and finger pulse oximeters offer reliable and convenient ways to measure blood oxygen saturation levels and pulse rate. Finger pulse oximeters are commonly used and easily accessible, while ear pulse oximeters may be preferred in certain situations. Consider your individual needs, comfort and convenience when selecting a pulse oximeter that best suits you. Thank you for joining us today as we compared ear and finger pulse oximeters in terms of their features, advantages and considerations. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more health-related content. Remember, pulse oximeters are valuable tools for monitoring your blood oxygen levels and pulse rate, but it's always recommended to consult with a healthcare professional for guidance on the proper uses and interruptions of results. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.